technically we own this business or started this business way back 2014. Cousins and I are very close and we bond through beer and alcohol. So we had the chance and the opportunity to have this business. Instead of going out all the time and spending lots of money, we invested in a small business. Our own business where we can drink, chill at the same time and bond. Because obviously this place is kind of a secret place. It can't be seen along the road. It's kind of tago. So we called it that. Tagu Bistro's inventory plan is risky. Their 10-unit reorder point is uniform for all the types of booze. Demand for booze is unpredictable but there is a need to calculate for different reorder points. Monte Carlo simulation and inventory modeling were used to anticipate demand spikes for inventory planning. Monte Carlo simulation is a computerized mathematical method using Microsoft Excel. It creates a probability of recurrence of the demand that is used to account for risks. Inventory modeling uses Monte Carlo generated demands from past data. The computed economic order point and reorder point were used in deciding when to order to minimize cost. Monte Carlo starts with counting the frequency of a demand. Calculating the relative frequency is dividing the individual frequency with the total frequency. Adding the relative frequency simultaneously would result to the commutative frequency. Cumulative frequency is used to compute for the upper and lower limit. Simulation starts by generating random numbers for the demand, and the demand was simulated using Excel's VLOOKUP function. Reorder point and economic order quantity were then calculated and were used to mimic the store routine. Let's take a look at the inventory simulation for the demand of Imperador. The initial inventory for Imperador is 16 bottles. For day 1, the simulated demand is 0. For day 2, the simulated demand is 2. The initial inventory decreased by 2. This process continues during their daily operating hours. On day 4, the beginning inventory was 12 and the ending inventory was 1 bottle. Should they order? Yes, they should order 39 bottles. This was according to the computed EOQ and ROP. This process continues during their daily operating hours. This is one of the duties and responsibilities of an industrial engineer. We improve, innovate, and optimize. We are industrial engineers.